What is over the, count over the counter is the process of trading securities via a broker-dealer network as opposed to on a centralized exchange like the New York Stock Exchange. Over the counter trading can involve stocks, bonds, and derivatives, which are financial contracts that derive their value from an underlying asset such as a commodity. So we can say that over the counter securities are traded without being listed on an exchange. Securities that are traded over the counter may be facilitated by a dealer or broker specializing in OTC markets. OTC trading helps promote equity and financial instruments that would otherwise be unavailable to investors. Understanding over the counter stocks that trade via OTC are commonly smaller companies that cannot meet the exchange listing requirements of formal exchanges. Many other types of securities also trade OTC. Stocks that trade on exchanges are called listed stocks, whereas stocks that trade via OTC are trade via OTC are called unlisted stocks. Trade transactions can take place through OTC Markets Group's electronic matching platforms, as the OTCQX, OTCQB, and the Pink Open Market, also known as OTC Pink or Pink Sheets. Types of OTC Securities Stocks The equities that trade via OTC are often small companies prohibited by the $295,000 cost to list on the NYSE and up to $75,000 on NASDAQ. Some well-known large companies are listed on the OTC markets, such as Allianz SE, BASF SE, Roche Holding AG, and Danone SA. Bonds Bonds do not trade on a formal exchange but banks market them through broker-dealer networks and they are also considered OTC securities. Derivatives Derivatives are private contracts arranged by a broker and can be options, forwards, futures, or other agreements whose value is based on that of an underlying asset, like a stock. ADRs American Depository Receipts ADRs, sometimes called ADSs or bank certificates that represent a specified number of shares of a foreign stock. Foreign Currency Foreign currencies that trade on the forex, and over-the-counter currency exchange. Cryptocurrency Cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin and Ethereum trade on the OTC market. Pros and Cons of the OTC Market OTC provides access to securities not available on standard exchanges such as bonds, ADRs, and derivatives. Fewer regulations on the OTC allows the entry of many companies who cannot, or choose not to, list on other exchanges. Through the trade of low-cost, penny stock, speculative investors can earn significant returns. OTC stocks have less trade liquidity due to low volume which lead delays in finalizing the trade and wide bid ask spreads. Less regulation leads to less available public information, the chance of outdated information, and the possibility of fraud. OTC stocks are prone to make volatile moves on the release of market and economic data. Over-the-counter is trading securities via a broker-dealer network as opposed to on a centralized exchange like the New York Stock Exchange. Although OTC networks are not formal exchanges, they still have eligibility requirements determined by the SEC. An investor can trade stocks, bonds, derivatives, and foreign exchange currency on the OTC marketplace.